Witness News, your weather authority app from your app store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. We've had two and a half inches of rain pretty much here in Evansville over the past three days. So that's a whopping total in three days. But it's nowhere close to some of the totals that we have seen where it's approaching a foot of rain in some locations here in the tri-state in the past three days. Just an amazing amount of rain has fallen. So no surprise, we've had a slew of flash flood warnings already today, although they're starting to expire and that flash flood watch. So we've been seeing the rain mainly north of 64 as far as the heaviest rain is concerned over the past 24 hours. I'll show you Doppler radar estimates here in a second. A lot of traffic on 41, as you would expect, uh, moving northbound and southbound. Of course, a lot of restaurants here at the noontime hour along the Strip, too. So I'm sure they're getting a lot of business. As we take a look at the, the temperature at the airport farther north of 41, you can see it. we've kind of got veiled sunshine out there in the backyard right now. And, you know, the sun's going to pop out, and it's really going to steam up pretty good. The dew point's at 70. That temperature has jumped 6 degrees in the past hour. It was at 71. That sunshine makes all the difference, and that's why it's going to be a tricky forecast as to how warm is it going to be. I'm going to give you a broad range of 80s because it is going to be a little bit co cooler up to the northeast where the temperature is going to be a little bit slower to recover with more clouds up around Jasper. But, I mean, down to the south and southwest, Harrisburg and Madisonville already in the mid-80s and steaming on up toward 90. East wind at around 8 miles an hour. It's going to be mainly from the south-southwest at around 5 to 10. There's 69 still in Jasper. I mean, the rain just pulled out of Dubois County, so it's finally dried out, but it's soaked, and it's certainly rain-cooled for now. 70 in Ligoti, 75 in Tell City. Owensboro now up to 80 degrees, and downtown the sun is shining on Smothers Park, the Blue Bridge. Uh, you can't see a lot of clouds still out there, but again, a lot of these are thinner clouds that the sun is kind of shining through. That's our King's Cam there at the Hampton Inn. On the east side of Evansville, as we look from our Warwick County camera, looks like the humidity is up just a little bit, kind of fogging the lens as that sunshine has come out and the traffic rolling right along that busy interchange there at 69 and 66. And finally, let's take one more stop down uh, on our tower cam tour to Powderly, Kentucky, our Pogue Auto camera. There's Everly Brothers Boulevard. A little bit of traffic out there at lunchtime as we uh, take a look at this. All right, John, keep it. Three, two, one, funky! And we didn't scare the kitten. Yay. <laughs> hey, this is from Lily Mattingly. Her mom, Sarah, sent this to me. Lily's five years old. She was going through the garden, and she's already got a cucumber. She went to pull one cucumber. She says, wait a minute. Mom, these two are stuck together. You know, they are. It's a two-for-one deal. I'm calling it Crazy Legs Cucumber. It looks like those cucumbers are trying to dance. I love it. Lily, thank you so much for uh, sending that my way, or Sarah anyway, sending that of Lily holding that Crazy Legs Cucumber. A little bit of rain now starting to develop to the west. You know, after we finally get this rain out of the picture and good riddance to that batch that moved through this morning, uh, we're finally uh, getting a break, only to have more rain developing. And that's going to be the case. Our best chance for a widespread rain, though, is come and gone. It looks like these showers and thunderstorms this afternoon are going to be more widely scattered. However, we do have that severe threat that's still out there for an isolated storm uh, that we could be seeing uh, damaging winds and also large hail. It's possible. Not really seeing a tornado threat this afternoon or evening, but... A little bit of rain. It's a long way off. It's over in Centralia. So we're talking about the other side of Illinois for the most part. These are Doppler radar estimates over the past 24 hours. Keep in mind, I mean, in some of these places, especially like Knox and Gibson County up to the north and really along US 50, I mean, they had a ton of rain 24 hours before that. I mean, we had up to about a half a foot in some location. So this is on top of already saturated ground, what they've seen over the past 24 hours. Heaviest rain I could find in Illinois right there on the Wayne and Clay County line, really that triple point, Wayne, Clay, and Richmond, uh, about three and a third inches of rain. As we shift the focus a little bit more to the east, uh, between Princeton and Hazleton and northern Gibson County, about 2.8 inches. And then finally, on the west side of Jasper, really the northwest side, it is 2.7 inches. Down to the south, Madisonville, which is getting a little bit of sunshine right now, they've already had about two and a half inches of rain over the past 24 hours. So. Yeah, they could use a break from the rain, too, unfortunately. Here we go. You can see these bands starting to develop on the satellite picture. Look at that, curling bands, too. And that damaging wind threat is going to be out there with this that moves into the afternoon. And our future tracker is indicating these thunderstorms uh, moving into our part of the tri-state early afternoon. Now we're starting to see some scattered thunderstorms, again, mainly north of 64, where they need the rain the least, and that is going to be into the mid-late afternoon. Other models are indicating a little more activity down to the south of 64. So, we you know, we really, we're all under that marginal risk. We all have that chance for some rain. Even as late as 9 o'clock, still some activity on the board. But overnight tonight, not nearly as active as what we had this morning. So, no rude awakenings 
at least not after midnight, maybe a stray shower, a thunder shower out there, but for the most part, it's gone. And then we are going to be seeing, after a dry start to the day tomorrow, a little bit of rain popping up in the afternoon. As our future tracker indicates, not a whole lot, but just a few showers and thunder showers popping up as we roll into our Wednesday. And then for Thursday, really Wednesday night into Thursday, some less humid air starts to creep in. I think that will be welcome. Here's my forecast for this Tuesday. Clouds, some sunshine out and about. Scattered thunderstorms, an isolated severe threat for damaging winds and large hail. And a humid high ranging through the 80s, depending upon how much sunshine we get. But pretty much northeast, low 80s, southwest down around Harrisburg and Madisonville, and that's what we're talking about, up around 90 degrees. Uh, 85 is what I'm calling it here in Evansville. 88 tomorrow, 89 on Thursday. It's my pick day, less humid. The chance for rain on Thursday, Alexandra, is late. It's in the evening, so it should be a dry Thursday and a little less humid. Oh, and you Look got a little got. cutie. This is our new friend, and she is our pet of the day. We're, we're going to introduce you uh, to her coming up <laughs> in just a minute. She's so cute.